Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neo Cipher Zero, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. We are in the Snubia Desert, and the first thing we're gonna go do is uh, grab this chest, which we neglected to get in our last pl episode. Almost said playthrough. It's, it's, it's all one playthrough, you idiot. Anyway, so here we are in the Snubia Desert. It's a pretty cool place to be. There's a lot of story that's gonna happen soon. There's a lot of items to be gathered. There's a lot of enemies to fight. I think it's a fairly decent place to grind as well. So that'll be interesting, but we're all alone right now. We don't have any of our party members with us. And we got this giant dark ass bird here that we have to fight. So I think we need to speed ourselves. And I just love using haste on, on any character anyway, so. Let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll just attack the fuck out of it! I really want to grind Titus here, I think, because... I'm really liking him doing a whole lot of damage. Oh shit, he's darkened though, so we have to... Use some eye drops. Hopefully I have some. Yes, I have six. Use those eye drops, Titus. You speedy bastard. Alright, we'll attack. And then we'll attack. And then I think we'll attack. And that's game. Not really. Okay. But anyway, okay, so... Need some help. Oren shows up. Ha! Ah, good timing, Oren. Just in time for me to not struggle with what to say. And Lulu shows up too, so that's awesome. I'm actually gonna have Titus use another eye drops. Because now we have Oren and Lulu, which are gonna massively overkill this guy, but we can attack with Titus again. And attack with Titus again. Oh man, I can't wait to level him up more. <laughs> He's so speedy, I love it. Okay, but we're going to use... It's not in special. I, why do I always think it's in special? It's in skill. We're going to use Power Break on uh, on this guy. And then Lulu... Did I have unlock bio for you yet? No, I need to grind you more. Jesus, okay. Let's just use Fire uh, for now. Kapow. Okay, and then... Oren is darked. But I think we can... get through most of this guy's HP. Maybe not, I don't know. Let's see. Bam! And... Bam! I think we're good. Maybe? No. One more. Die! Really? Come on! Thing's got 296 HP left. Fucker. Take that. Okay, so that wasn't too hard. But that guy can be a little bit tough, so just make sure you guys, uh, you know, keep your wits about you. Alright, so we get a small cutscene here. The others? Where everybody at? Haven't found them yet. We're supposed to stay in one place if we get split up. Hmm. Right here if you want. He's not. That doesn't make sense, though, because, like, I understand it's a good way to, you know, keep from getting yourself more lost. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to save. But, uh, like, it just does, it doesn't make sense, because if everybody stays in one spot, then nobody will find each other. <laughs> I don't know, but we're just going to head straight on ahead here to find Wacka. Wacky Wacka. Wacka! Mmm. Mmm. I'm yeah. rescued. Where's Yuna? Yuna's gone. Damn it! First I lose Yuna. Then Yuna was a mistake. Right there, <laughs> yeah, there's also an Albed primer there if you guys uh, can see it. We're gonna go ahead and grab it. Volume three. Okay, so that's good. L becomes C. Okay, and we get this Albed first aid kit thing. And it gives us eight Albed potions. There's a lot of Albed potions we can get in this area. And you're going to want to grab as many as humanly possible because they become very, very useful uh, now that we don't have Yuno with us. And we're not going to have Yuno with us for a while. So Riku's going to kind of become our main healer for a while. Because, and yeah. Another Albed primer here. Don't miss it. A to E. Bam. We are now an Albed Hydasia. Whatever the fuck that means. 
Kimari's over here, continuously trying to walk up the same hill and sliding back down. What an idiot. Yeah, you shake your head in shame. It's not your fault, Kamari. You big blue bastard. That's okay. We like Kamari. I don't like Kamari, but we do. I don't know who we is. The the royal we. Oh yeah. Holy shit! That was one hell of a critical hit. And we give Kamari a hard time, but he, he's he's cool. He's cool. Okay, so we're just gonna continue along here, grinding as necessary. Be careful of these guys, because uh, they can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you run into too many of them. Uh, they do quite a bit of damage, and they've got a considerable amount of HP, so... Uh, yeah, they knocked out Titus. Wonderful. You know, I gotta say, it's a little underwhelming to me that uh, Orin is so weak compared to Titus right now. Like, because I'm so used to Orin being, like, the strongest character in the party. Like, he can do the most damage. But now Titus just absolutely fucking wrecks shit. And I'm loving it. Like, I don't mean to complain. I, I, it's not really a complaint. It's just that it's, it's funny to me how insanely powerful Titus is compared to Orin now. And Waka's gonna be suffering a bit. I really need to level him up some more. fucking love Titus right now, though. Really need to grind him up a whole lot more to some higher levels. And we're gonna meet Riku up here. Oh. Hey, guys. Yo. Where's Yumi? Gone. Gone. Some guardian I am. Ah, don't be too hard on yourself. There's something I want to tell you, but promise not to say anything? To who? <laughs> Waka, no that bearing face. either. <laughs> I know where we are. We are on Bicanel Island. Oh. There's a place us Albed call home near here. You need to well, be sure of it. Other Albed must have come and rescued her. Why so sure? Rescued? You mean kidnapped? <laughs> what does it matter as long as she's safe? That's right. Anyway, I will take you there if you promise that you won't tell anyone about it. Especially not Yevonites, okay? Fine. Like us, I'll bed. Who knows what they'll do if they knew? Give me a break. What are you accusing Yevon of this time? Yevon did something really bad to us before. Well, you, I'll bed, must have deserved it. <laughs> wow, Waka. Uh, can't you guys talk about this later? I don't agree with Waka. Just promise you won't tell anyone about this island. I think he's just promise? blindly following Waka, shit. All right, I promise. Lead the way. I mean, I respect him, I guess, you but... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna grab these chests. I love grabbing chests, you know? I'll grab chests all day long. Show me your chest and I'll grab it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. Let's go, let's go. I'm not that sorry, it was funny. It, it had its moment. Come on, Riku. It looks just so adorable. Adorable. Oh yeah, Riku can uh, disassemble Machina in one hit if you steal from them, so that's fun. So let's steal from this guy, Lefty over here, and they just fall apart. No problem. Uh, no need to use Thunder on these things, especially because they're so weak. Well, I guess if they're at full health, it would make sense. I don't know. Fuck me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I should know what I'm talking about. I'm supposed to know this game like a professional, you know? <laughs> this is like one of the games I've sunken the most hours into. I should know everything. And yet I don't. Uh, it's also been quite a while since the last time I played, so... Oh, that reminds me, though. Um, cactuars. You can find cactuars as enemies in this area. Uh, they are extremely more powerful than- Oh, here we go! Speaking of! Jesus! Okay, so they're much more powerful than their counterparts from the Thunder Plains, and we don't have Yuna to summon an Aeon right now, so... Honestly, my best advice for this is to actually just avoid them. Uh, as tempting as it is to get all that experience, 
they're worth quite a lot of experience. Oh man, I'm tempted. I don't know what to do though. Fuck it. We're just gonna run. Sorry. But yeah, they can very easily sneak up on you and annihilate your whole party, which will result in a game over, which we don't want. So I'm going to avoid them for now. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So we're gonna head this way, following the signs. There's another fucking cactuar. Jesus Christ. He's, he's hungry. He's thirsty for blood. All right, you know what? YOLO. Oh, but they're hard to hit. I forgot. Can we do... Oh, wait. Aim raises the party's accuracy. Everyone, Let's go, do it. Go, go. Come on, guys. We can do this. All right, Auron. Attack. Yes! We got him. Okay. It's not, it's not as threatening as I thought. I don't know. For some reason, I remember them being a real pain in the ass. But that's that's actually not that bad. So if you use eight, uh, Waka's aim ability, it'll increase your accuracy, and then you can kill them pretty easily. Because they only have 800 health. Which is awesome. I kind of wish I would have <laughs> done that in the first place. <laughs> but that's okay. Just exercise extreme caution with Cactuars. That's all I gotta say. Because once if they do hit you, you're in for a hurtin', let me tell you. Okay, so we're in a really big area right now. Shit. Uh, but there's actually a lot of items that we can grab from this area. So first, we're gonna head out to this big, uh, like, I don't know what it is. It's not, it's not quite a rock. It just looks like the remains. Oh god! Holy shit! I forgot about these things. They're fucking huge, and they they can also like eat your party members. Holy shit! It's got a lot of HP too. You know what? I think we should do it. I think we should YOLO it again, and, uh... Let's play it smart, though. Let's, uh, not flee. Haste. On Titus. And, uh, can we dark attack this thing? Let's see. Might be immune. I don't think it worked. It didn't say immune, but I don't think it worked. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Let's, uh, let's power break. Haste. Auron. I must swap out Waka. For Lulu. Oh wait, that was Auron. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. Black magic. Let's bio you. I do have it now. Alright, I'll swap Waka back out for Auron. Attack! I need to haste, uh... Auron? No, he's already hasted. Lulu. That's the one. They switched positions. I got confused. Oh god. Gotta love that bio. With such massive poison damage. Now, we can get into the offensive spells. Fire? Oh, I should have been using ice and water. I have sensor on too, what an idiot. That's okay, that's okay. Uh oh. Oh god, who's he gonna swallow? No, not Titus! He's my fave! Fuck. Okay, now we have to play without Titus for the rest of this battle. So... That's gonna suck if we all die. I'm gonna use an overdrive. What's he shooting star? I don't know the... Directions for all that. Oh, Y, B, X, A, left, right, A. Got it. Okay. Holy shit. She fucking flung him off the fucking map. No time to waste. Let's go. Oh, I forgot it did that. Okay. But we killed it. And we get Titus back. He doesn't get... I don't know if he got any XP. I didn't pay attention. Okay. Um. Yeah, so those are a thing. But we're gonna grab this treasure, treasure chest here. With four high potions. Awesome. I'm gonna take some time to level up all my characters here, so be right back. Alright, so we got some more treasure chests to find here. There's one up there, which... I guess we'll go to this one first since there's a save sphere. So let's head towards this chest. And grab it, because we love grabbing chests. So much. Uh, and we really need those out bed potions. Let's just go ahead and save again. 
And we're gonna head back down this way. And somewhere down here, there should be more treasure chests. Think around this rock formation? Yes. God damn it, are you kidding me? Alright, inside this- Riku, stop running directly at the chest. Okay, two X potions. Awesome. And then there's another chest way out here. Which we are going to grab, of course. We're gonna be grabbing chests all day. Come on, Riku, let's go grab this chest. Riku likes grabbing chests, too. Alright, so back at the save sphere, we're at a bit of a crossroads here. There's a place we can go to the left and a place we can go to the right. Now, the right side is gonna have weaker fiends, which we can more easily manage. The left side has really strong fiends, but... We also get a lot more items in that area, so we're actually gonna go that way first, even if we're a little bit scared of dying. We're gonna do it. Off to the left we go, Riku. We Okay, so this place is pretty cool, right? Alright, so I believe there's an all bed primer around here somewhere. I think it's in these ruins here, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, there's just two treasure chests. What's in them? Level two key spheres. That's cool. We need level threes, but... Ooh, 10,000 Jill. That'll come in handy. I have so much money right now. Like, I don't spend any of it for some reason. <laughs> okay, so there's a weird little thing here. We can't quite read it. It's gonna end up actually being a code, I think, uh, which we can use later. All right, so there's a chest back here that we can grab. Awesome. There's the Albad Primer. It was hiding in these ruins by the exit at the back. Okay. So that's all we really need from this area. So we can go ahead and head back now, I think. All right, so after saving our game, we can head out this way. Okay, so we'll head all the way out here and grab this Albad Primer. Since it's the next one we need in our collection. Always with the fucking battles. Okay, let's grab this, please. Thank you. Excellent. And becomes our... All right, so the only way we can go from here is to the next area. So we'll travel through here a bit, which is a whole lot of nothing for a little while at least. All right, so this area up here actually contains like a lot of really good items. So I'm gonna try and grab everything while we're here. All right, so a lot of these chests are in sinkholes, so we're gonna try and grab them quick. We have to fight an enemy inside of it. Uh, they're weak to fire, so... Keep that in mind. Oh shit, I forgot he has water powers on his sword. Fuck. Okay. Let's just fire the shit out of it. Alright, Titus is gonna be pretty useless in this battle right now. So... Oh, and he's confused. Lovely. Just gonna have Titus haste Lulu before he dips out. All right, now that he's taken care of, we can grab the chest at the bottom. Boom. And we get three mega elixirs, which are fucking awesome. All right, and this one over here is the same scenario, but it's got a much more important item in its treasure chest, so it's well worth the risk here. And now he's out of the way. And we are gonna grab this chest, because inside are two teleport spheres, which are amazingly awesome spheres that we can use on our sphere grid. So, that's... great. <laughs> Before we move on, though... I'm gonna head over here. There's a chest at the back. I'm gonna head back a little bit, because I feel like I missed... some chests back here. I know there's something important that we're supposed to find here, and I haven't found it yet. Is it maybe back here? There's a chest here. Oh, eight high potions. I'm on the right track here. Okay, yeah, there's one in the sinkhole. Okay, we definitely need to grab that. Because that is the Mercury Crest. And for those of you who don't know, the Mercury Crest is very integral to unlocking the legendary weapons or ultimate weapons or whatever they're called uh, closer to the end of the game. Um, they're amazing weapons, so I highly suggest making sure you grab that so you don't have to come back here for it later. 
All right, so I think that's pretty much everything of value in this area. Uh, please feel free to grind here, uh, particularly if you find a lot of cactuars and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and start fleeing. But yeah, hunt down those cactuars and, and get some experience. We have to head through this guy to get to the next area. Best thing is to taste Lulu and Oren with uh, Titus before he switches out to Riku. You guys should have a lot of Albed potions right now. I have like 90 right now. Just because they're so common here. Oh, fuck. That didn't work. All right, once that's taken care of, we can just head on into the next area, which is where we're headed anyway. Over here. Okay. Ah! Oh no. What's going on? It's Riku's home, and it's on fire. That's not good. Is being attacked by a lot of fiends. What has happened? What? Let's go. Actually, she's not, but... Yeah, we should probably still go help out. <laughs> yeah, the refresh rate on this game was horrible. Who did this to you? Yevon. Guado. Oh, man. Fucking Seymour, man. Kayaku! A war between Yevon and the Albed? Seems so. That is wrong. Guado, go for the summoner. Father! See, we can kind of read now. Yep, he's dead. Aww. Oh yeah, that's Sid, by the way. Her father. Which, if you guys remember, is also Yuna's uncle. So... <laughs> so Yuna and Riku are actually cousins, if you didn't know that. Yep. He's my dad. Let's go. Yeah. We have to save Yuni. Yeah. Not only Yuna, right? Yeah, all of the Albed. Right. Let's go, Riku. Okay, before we go any further, there is an Albed primer here that we need to collect. Where the fuck is it? Ah, it's on this side. Okay. I knew it was here somewhere. Oh, and we've achieved the rank of Albed on on Onion. I'm just gonna call it Onion. We're an Onion now, hooray! All right, so now we're gonna save. And I think that's actually where I'm gonna end this episode, guys. Uh, so we, we successfully navigated through the Sanubia Desert and now we are at Riku's home. Shit's all going to hell. We got some real exciting stuff coming up and we should be all caught up on our Albed primers. So I think we're doing pretty good. We, um, we got a good amount of experience in the Sanubia Desert. We got a lot of good items too. So I think we're well prepared for the future. Titus, right now, in my game at least, is an absolute beast right now. He's doing like 2,000 damage, like base damage, which is more than Oren's doing right now. He, I think he's only doing like 1,500. But I'm fucking loving it. Like Titus is one of my favorite characters in the game as far as like battle style. Uh, he's just really super speedy. And I love that. He can get in, like, so many hits at once if he hastes himself. And it gets even better towards the end of the game once we get the ability Quick Hit, which allows him to do multiple hits in one turn. So, that's gonna be fucking insane. I can't- I really can't wait for that. But anyway, um, think that's all I've got to say for this. Uh, lots of chest grabbing. Haha. -ha. But anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode, guys. So... Thanks for stopping by. If you guys enjoyed this episode, click that like button's ass for me, please. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.